parking in Atlanta was non-existent. Alex, if you're watching this, I do think you're cute. But while you're here, you'll have no idea anything wrong happened. What can you do? She got it zipped all the way, and then the buttons like popped off. Today is Friday. I am flying to St. Louis to paint at the Ritz-Carlton tonight, so I need to leave in an hour. It is almost 8 a.m. right now, so we gotta move fast. And um, I'm about to get some coffee and maybe a bite to eat and then throw everything in my suitcase and hit the air. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. I made it to St. Louis. Sorry, I forgot to vlog everything because parking in Atlanta was non-existent. It was full. Every parking lot was full. The airport on and off property, everything was full. I guess because it's summer or whatever, I didn't think to even make a reservation anywhere. Uh, I figured something out. My brothers are helping me out with my car. Um, and I made it to my gate just in time, literally one minute before they started boarding. Made it on the plane, made it to St. Louis. I just went to Michael's to pick up the canvas because I didn't want to fly with it on the plane. Now I am going to grab a bite to eat <laughs> and kind of decompress before tonight's painting. Let's go eat. <laughs> I'm ready for the wedding. When I tell you guys, I have been flying by the seat of my pants today. I got some, I got lunch. I went to the hotel. I got checked in. I got a coffee and I got ready for the wedding. And here we are. Let's go to the wedding and paint. We are tight on schedule today. Friday. I think it's a Friday. On my way to Raleigh right now. I have my first Indian wedding tonight. I am so excited. I'm not doing the traditional live painting, but I am doing the watercolor guest portraits. So can't wait to show you guys more. All right, so I have made it to the venue and my job is to look as cool, calm, and collected as possible despite having forgot my light for the table and my mason jar shattering everywhere, all over the bathroom. So. If you see this after the wedding, you're gonna laugh, but while you're here, you'll have no idea anything wrong happened. I have about an hour left. I've gotten through about 30 portraits, most of them families though, so it's taken quite a bit of time. Okay, in there. <laughs> Hi, so we are on the way to the airport. I waited till the last minute to pack and packed everything in about 25 minutes. If I forgot anything, I'm just gonna have to buy it there. We'll see. I got here about four hours before the first dance. Um, I usually don't get here this early, but because I am out of town and I don't want to fly home with the canvas, I really want to make sure that I get it done this weekend. I'm not flying home with it. Um, it's a larger canvas, it's a 20 by 30, and it won't just be the couple, but it'll also be both sets of parents and some guests, so it will take longer. Hello, live painting family. So it is the day after the wedding. I'm going to finish this painting today at my parents' house before I fly home tomorrow. So here's my setup. I'm trying to kind of looks crazy in the middle of this dining room, but this room has the best light. That my portion of the vlog is gonna be a little, just a little chaotic compared to the like aesthetically pleasing calm that my teammates exist in, but uh, 
what can you do? Alright, so earlier I planned on doing a big like rundown of here's what I pack in my suitcase and here's how I pack for um, live wedding painting and traveling, but I didn't because children. So I am here in Homestead, Florida. I'm about an hour out from Key Largo um, traffic wise and I'm about to get ready to go paint the wedding. And my goal today is to not melt. So I bought one of these. I've got like a six pack of water bottles. Um, I'm pretty sure once I get to the site, they'll provide me with plenty of hydration. I just, I never take a chance. I always have sustenance on hand. So I'm gonna get ready and do that. hiding under a cabana and the DJ told me to just paint the sun and we'll just manifest it. So look at this. I ain't even mad. Still gonna make for a pretty painting. Action videos. <laughs> Guys can come take a look. <laughs> look at it. Oh yeah it's pretty. I know. Thanks y'all. All right, greetings from Chicago land. I checked into my hotel. Uh, the wedding venue that I'm painting at is right next door. So that's really nice. I've got about an hour before I need to be on site. So I'm putting food in my face now. Because I'm painting a reception tonight, I've learned from experience that I'm not gonna get to eat for hours. I have to show you, I went to Bread Co. I bought an entire baguette because I was really, really hungry. My eyes were bigger than my stomach at the time. And I thought, I can, I can eat that while I'm on the road. Well, I haven't. My soup also came with a side of baguette, like a huge chunk of bread. So this is the opposite of a problem. This is actually a challenge for me. And I wish that there was a way for me to measure my painting progress by the amount of baguette that I have left. Like I wish that I could just be painting and eating a baguette at the same time. And like by the time the baguette's gone, the painting is finished. You know, that's about like a five or six hour chunk of time in which I can healthily, without vomiting, ingest this. But alas. So those are my weird painting goals for the day. <laughs> I'm gonna whisper, but look at this. Okay, so I'm about to set up the entry, but I don't want people tripping over me, so. Five more minutes. It is Tuesday um, after Memorial Day and I am on my morning walk. I like to like get up super early. Uh, well, not super early, but start working, I guess, earlier than most people. I like start working around seven in the morning, get a few hours of emails done. That way I can take a nice walk and a break. I don't know why my body likes this, but I feel like I can only work for like a few hours at a time before I need a break. So I kind of always set up my schedule, my work schedule um, to accommodate that. And it's nice because my assistant Kim like gets on line around nine. And that's kind of like when I try and take my break. It makes me feel better about taking a break from work and getting some fresh air when I know that she's working. Also love this hat. It like folds up and you can travel with it. So if anyone's looking for a good summer hat, highly recommend it. Today I'm painting in Middleton Place and it will be an awesome day. It's pretty cloudy right now, which is actually kind of nice. The plan is to finish everything tonight on site, um, varnish everything. It is one of my bigger canvases. So I'm hoping to do that. Um, I'm painting the recessional too, so. It'll be earlier in the day, so I should have plenty of time to finish up before the night's over. Welcome to my studio. Today I am prepping for um, a live event tomorrow. Um, I will be in Charleston um, on Kiowa Island for a welcome party. So I'll be doing watercolor portraits, which is super fun. It's a smaller group usually at a welcome party. So this is always a fun little like memento that they can have from 
the wedding. Um, but the great thing is, is I'm also a part of the wedding on Saturday. So prepping for the watercolor portraits and a live painting. And I thought I would just show you guys like some of the supplies I use. I know you can buy pre-cut five by seven paper, but I don't know why I still cut mine. I love working for portraits with uh, watercolor pencils. So I use those. I have some gouache that I kind of mix in that are more saturated colors. I always bring markers. They're kind of more mixed media than just watercolor because we're moving so fast that I use like pencil, pen, the watercolor pencils, and sometimes the gouache. And I even have my markers from my fashion illustration classes. So sometimes I pretty much just bring all the supplies and I lay it all out. That way I have easy access to everything. We just went through a big rebrand. Um, it's been almost a, well, almost a year ago, I guess and a whole new website that launched in February, but we have like so many cute little branded things that I am bringing. It's to be the first time I have done portraits with all of the new branding. So we have like these super cute little, like bigger than business cards, but it has like the in information about Cloud Studio business cards. And then I got some of these harder like envelopes like these. These are from an old wedding that I did. These are just our branding. So this will be something that they can use if they want like something hard to carry the portraits in. But, and usually like, you know, we charge extra for stuff like that. But this one, um, I want to bring and see how people like it. But we always package in these like clear cellophane little slips to protect them. So yeah, I always make sure I have all of my supplies. And I always have examples from weddings that like paintings that people didn't pick up or just practice ones that I'll do ahead of time. Um, so I always have a few extra on hand so people know what we do. But yeah, lots of cute little portraits always on hand. And then I always have supplies. I don't know if it's because I guess I went to scout. I'm like prepare for every situation um, and every little utensil. I don't know why I would need my tweezers or seam ripper. But once I had to sew a bride into her wedding dress a few years ago. Um, thank goodness I was still in school. She got it zipped all the way and then the buttons like popped off. I literally like whip stitched the entire zipper like all together because I had all my supplies in the car. I'm always prepared and um, yeah, I always just have all my supplies with me because um, you never, literally never know what is going to happen. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. I have an event tonight um, on Kiowa Island for a welcome party. So yesterday I was getting ready. Today I have a lot of work to do, multiple meetings before I can even leave. So today is probably going to be like a 16, 18 hour work day it is a lot, but I'm used to it. So this morning, um, I will be working on emails until I have a team call with the girls at nine. And then I have a meeting with a social media manager at 1130. And hopefully I can squeeze in a walk and kind of get my body moving a little bit um, before I have to sit in the car for two hours. So, and I'll leave for that probably at like three. So I've got plenty of time to get through a lot of work this morning before I get to go paint. Well, thanks everybody else for joining. Um, we are just talking about our weekends. It's turned into 45 minutes and the first dance did not start till nine o'clock, a little after nine o'clock. So when they were running like an hour behind, I did not force a reveal. I never saw the couple, never met the couple. They, it was just so busy. I quickly got them on the canvas and drove an hour home. I, everybody, please learn from me. When you have your calls with your brides, please write down what pose they want because this has happened to me multiple times. It's not that I don't pay attention. It's not that I just get so in the moment on the call that I forgot to write down the pose. So she had been following me on TikTok for a really long time. That's where she had found me and she was so excited. And it was like the first 95 degree weather wedding that I've painted this year and I was like oh I forgot how hot it could get so I pulled out yeah. my umbrella and I used that as a shield which helped a little bit um but yeah it was a it was a good painting I know exactly what I'm gonna do to finish it I think it'll take like two hours and all right Sloan you're next like what do y'all suggest about 
setting a good composition without being in the way? <laughs> so I always will set up from the exact angle I want for the first few hours until anything starts. And then I move to that spot okay. because for me, like, I just, I don't, I hate working from a photograph. So yeah. I like, like to be right in that spot for as long as possible. I just arrived in Kiowa for the welcome party that I'm painting watercolor portraits for tonight. And guys, it is so windy. <laughs> Hopefully I'm inside. Uh, every time I do watercolor portraits here, I'm inside. So I am going to head in soon. But yesterday there was literally a tornado like where I live. And tonight it's giving some iffy vibes, I guess. Um, the wind, I'll, I'll show you around. It's it's pretty crazy. I'm like in my car and I can feel it like pushing the car. You can see the the palms back there. But yeah, I am here and I will be painting for three hours for the whole for the whole party and it's gonna be so beautiful. Oh, uh, we just, I just was just insane. freaking out because I was yeah. like, I was supposed to be do? out there and I'm like, I have no paper, way. it's going to fly yeah, yeah, everywhere. Exactly. What are you doing tonight? So I'm doing the watercolor portrait. So I just take a little like photo of them or from the photo that way there's not a huge long line, but I yeah. do a little fashion sketch. So I am packing for California. I have had a crazy day. I went to the mall to do last minute shopping stuff and then I still need to pack and I need to leave in like 40 minutes. So I'm gonna cut this short, but I just got a new phone. So I am vlog ready. I got an Apple watch, which I feel like is gonna be very convenient for me. And this is the current state of my room. It's kind of a mess because I am like all over the place again. So I will be updating you guys. I will be trying to vlog all weekend. I'm going with Caitlin. Caitlin's coming with me, my friend. Um, and we are making a whole like long weekend out of it because it's Memorial Day weekend. So I'm super, super excited. Wedding's on Saturday and today's Thursday. So we have all day tomorrow and then a morning, afternoon on Friday. And then um, we're just gonna be painting the town pink the rest of the time. I'm so excited. Anyways, TTYL. I am on my way to pick up Caitlin. Caitlin lives north of me, so I'm getting her before we head to the airport. We're flying out of Orlando. I don't remember if I said that or not because there's no layover anywhere and it was way cheaper. I uh, rambled at the end. <laughs> it's so hard to know what to pack. A, most importantly, I go through a checklist of like everything I need for painting. This weekend I'm only doing guest portraits, so that made it a lot easier um, to just make sure I have everything. And it's also nice because I don't have to carry an easel. I put everything in my backpack. I just brought like a lot of cute dresses and like jeans. Apparently it's kind of cold there right now, so. I brought jeans and like some tank tops and cardigans and yeah. So we're also not even going that long. I just feel like it's gonna be a while, but it's only technically like Friday through Monday. So it's not even that long. It's just so easy to overpack, but very excited. We just ran through the airport. I'm so out of breath, but we made it. Insecurity. Alex, if you're watching this, I do think you're cute. We got to the venue. I am fixing my makeup. What did we do today? We went, went thrifting. We went thrifting. We went back down to Malibu to finish some shopping. I got this pretty necklace. Um, got coffee. Got coffee. Went thrifting. And now we're here. So I'm going to fix my makeup. Got here an hour and a half early. Going to go set up. And then Caitlin is going to take a nap because we have a two and a half hour drive after this. So she's going to keep me awake. And she's going to find a coffee shop maybe. Very exciting. I'll update you inside. <laughs> The 
wedding went really, really well. People were so nice. Um, all the guests were awesome. And I got 68 portraits done in five hours, which is That's crazy. It's crazy. I think it might be the quickest, one of the quickest that I've ever done. Definitely the, the not, not the quickest. Yes, the quickest. The most that I've done in a while. I'm getting better and better. It's all part of the journey. Also, should I give them an Alex update? Did you talk about it earlier? Didn't we? But, uh, that boy asked for my number over my DMs. Airport love. So, airport love, we won't call it love. Airport crushing does exist. <laughs> All right, we're leaving. We woke up early this morning, went for a walk at the beach, mm. insert video here. I'm vlogging. <laughs> went to the hotel, cleaned up, packed up, and then we went to Newport and got breakfast. The best breakfast burritos ever, which of course I didn't record. And now we are driving to the airport. Nothing going on here. You guys are just seeing us in the car <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> I just got home from the gym. It's been a crazy couple of days. My Instagram is like blowing up. Um, I had set a goal for myself to be at 100K, I think, by the end of the year. And it looks like I'm gonna hit 80K probably tonight. I'll probably wake up tomorrow and it'll be there. Which every time that first number changes, it like blows my mind. And I go to sleep, probably read a little bit and then go to sleep and then wake up to 80K, hopefully. Crazy, man. Another day, another pack up for the airport. It is 10 o'clock. And I still have to pack and my flight leaves in eight hours, which means I have to be awake in like five hours and I'm still not packed. I'm taking the big boy tomorrow. So my flight leaves at six, so I'm making good time. But I'm so tired. I slept so bad last night. Got my easel, got my suitcase. I just took a whole video and it deleted. But anyways, I was gonna say, I feel like I've been awful about vlogging this trip. I had such an awesome time at the wedding. Um, my grandparents live in Columbus, so I'm actually staying a couple extra days, but the wedding went so well. Kristen and Andrew were just so appreciative and so sweet. And it's it's always funny when people fly me up because I feel like they, they're they like, thank you so much for coming all the way here. And I'm like, I'm. it's the greatest honor when somebody puts you on a plane and in a rental car and allows you to come to their wedding that's so far away like it's the greatest honest honestly um honor so went so well their tiktok guest reactions are going viral which i knew was gonna happen because um the guests were just so sweet like some of the nicest people i feel like i've ever worked for and worked with um and now i'm picking my dad up from the airport because he is also visiting so fun fun weekend florida girl gets a break from humidity I'm walking my dad's dog and just thinking about the cool places that I get to go this week and next week. Thanks to this job. It's pretty crazy. Honestly, I think about it like five times a day these days because I just feel like it's something I'm able to take advantage of right now. Like, I can't believe that I'm walking in Ohio with my dad's dog because I had a wedding here last weekend. It's honestly mind-boggling that I'm so blessed. <laughs> 